Hey y'all, it is Valentine weekend and we're going to make something a little special. And if you don't have something special to make for somebody special, you can make it for yourself because you're special too. Um, so just remember that you don't have to have somebody special in your life because you've got yourself. And you're never alone. God is always with you. So, um, you just cook this for yourself. I would if I was here by myself. I sure would. Yes, I would. So, um, what I want to do is something that normally, I think the only time I ever saw it was um, on a cruise ship that we could order in the fine dining room was Baked Alaska. And um, you can make one huge big one to slice into if you want to, but I'm going to try to make John and me some individual small ones. And I thought I'd try to valentine them up a little bit. And so I'm going to make them out of red velvet cake with chocolate ice cream. So um, that'll be good too. Yes, it will. And because I've got a whole other meal planned, I'm going to take some shortcuts. And I'm going to use a box cake mix. But there's nothing wrong with that. And we're going to kind of zhuzh it up anyway. And I wanted to show you all on this red velvet box cake mix something that they show I always look at any recipe on there see this says trifle cups and you've got some individual little glasses like some little juice glasses and they just bake the cake and then they cut the little cubes up and it looks like vanilla ice uh, vanilla pudding and then they've got some whipped cream on top with some chocolate chips I hope y'all can see that really really sweet and cute so you can do all sorts of little cutesy things because we're kind of all stuck at home aren't we during the pandemic and here in Louisiana, y'all, we're in new territory. <laughs> We've got a seven-day forecast and lots, and it's like staying freezing, 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 freezing. We never go seven days, not in Louisiana. And one of those nights, one forecast I saw says seven. And we're like, what? What do we do? What do we do? We don't know what to do down here. We're in the deep south, and we just, we might get it cool enough to snow one night or it might ice over, but usually the day warms up enough. Well, it's not doing that for us. <laughs> and I about freeze to death. I just stay in a little tight ball when I'm like this, when it's weather like this. And I feel so bad for our cows, I do, but they walk around like it's no big deal. But I know it is, and we feed them extra because they're just burning off those calories. But we're going to all get through it. Y'all, please excuse Jax. I can't stick him outside because it's so cold. So he's just going to stay in and get all excited for us. Anytime anybody drives by that has a loud muffler, there he goes. Right? I know. He's silly. Okay, guys. Put our cake mix in here. And I am going to put... They want one-third cup of oil in there. Jax, come on, baby. Come on. Give us a break, darling. It's okay. It's just a loud vehicle. Um, first thing they want is water. And that's one thing I don't ever put in a box cake mix is just water. I put milk. I put coconut milk, I'll put orange juice or pineapple juice or um, some coffee, chocolate milk and a chocolate cake. Chocolate milk would be good in this red velvet, but I don't have it, but I've got some buttermilk. So we're going to put a cup of buttermilk. That's what we're going to do. Just try to think of anything outside of that box that you can, um, of water, outside the box of water that you could put in your cake to add. Just a little more flavoring, and that buttermilk could give it a really nice little flavor. Okay, I am going to put the one-third cup of vegetable oil they're asking for, and I'm using the vegetable oil. And I want to get all that oil because I like it to be nice and moist. Yes. And now we're going to put um, the three eggs. It calls for three eggs, and I've got some fresh eggs down here. Let's do one at a time. My girls are always so good. One, to provide us with some eggs. Sometimes when I'm just making a cake that I'm gonna stack or cake and I want to have more volume, I'll also add one more egg. But um, this time we're actually gonna put this in a nine by 13 because we're actually gonna cut circular disc out of this cake to layer in our baked Alaska. So I'm gonna stick to the three eggs. Yes, I am. And one other thing that I'll put to box mixes is a teaspoon of vanilla. And that just gives it a little extra homemade taste to it. Kind of brightens everything up in the, in the box. So, so there you have it. Semi-homemade, huh? 
Um, and I'm going to mix this. And the reason why I was looking back here because I want to share something with y'all. This beater, I mentioned on one of my videos that um, I didn't have one of these beaters that had this plastic piece on here, kind of like a spatula that would scrape down the sides of your bowl. And one of you, Renita, I hope I'm saying your name right, girl, because she and I message back and forth now. She's a sweetheart. She lives in Oklahoma. She has a farm as well. They have a dirt working business. I'm just, it's just amazing. She's like my little twin sister in Oklahoma. And um, I'm not going to say her last name. I don't like to exploit people on, on here in case they don't want to be. But she sent me this package. And I opened it. And the first thing I did was read the card. And I'm going to read for y'all too. I love to share when y'all do things like this. And y'all... You, it's not necessary that you do this for me, but when you do, it's just the sweetest little thing, and I just like to share it with you. I save all my cards, and I pull them, put them on a bulletin board out in my canning kitchen um, so I can look at them anytime I want to. It says, you bring the sunshine. It's a sweet, sweet card. And she said, hi, Amy. Greetings from Oklahoma. You are truly special to me, and I get so excited watching your videos. Um, as I mentioned in comments, we too live on a farm and our son is third generation operating our family dozer business um, that his granddad started in 1960. I think that's fabulous. It says we raise crops, we run cattle, and along with an event venue on our farm. And they do. I looked their farm up and they have weddings and all sorts of um, celebrations at their farm. That's fabulous. Says we stay quite busy as you all do. Anyway, I was at Walmart when I saw this and immediately thought of you. Hope you still needed one. And I thought, what in the world did I say I needed? You know, but um, I wanted to read that card first. So then the next thing I, I looked, oh, and she goes on to tell me something else that I just had a fit about. She said, I also embroidered you this dishcloth just for you. And I was reading this in my vehicle because I checked the mail and I was headed to town. I was like, because oh, I thought, I don't care what she got me at Walmart. She embroidered me a dishcloth. I just had a fit over that. And um, she says, I could ramble on and on. Keep being you because we think you're pretty special. And of course, John too. Renita. And that is the sweetest little card. I've cherished that more than anything. But I tell you, so... Before I even looked at what she got me at Walmart, I thought I've got to find this embroidered um, towel. And goodness gracious, I want to come show y'all up close. Uh, I know I'm not zooming because I'm here alone, but do y'all see that? Is that not precious? It's got chicken. It looks like my um, Dominique or chicken or Dominique chicken, the black and white speckled. And her name is um, Greta. Or Gertrude. Sometimes I call her both. It's got a little basket of eggs. And it's even got the little chicken wire. And I mean, she got real detailed with the chicken wire. I just, It's the solid pieces. And then it's the little twisted pieces. It just, this is just um, a priceless gift. A priceless gift. And it's a tea towel. So I can use it to cover bread that's rising. Or I can put rolls in it that I fresh baked. And right now, I'm decorating my oven door with it because I am so proud of it and it's beautiful and I just want to um, give Renita a shout out that's just gorgeous girl that that is priceless to me it really is and I will cherish it I will but then I reached on down in that bag and thought well, what did I need for Walmart and out I pulled this and it was one of these beaters with that plastic on the side I said oh my goodness so she just made my day I went on and took it out because I wanted to wash it before I um did all that. Let me wash my hands, guys. Thank you so much, girl. Thank you, thank you. That was the sweetest gift, and I am going to use this. I have been waiting to show y'all what I got because I wanted to... Well, I'm having trouble, of course. There we go. I wanted to cook a cake with it you know I just didn't want to show y'all this beater so I've been waiting I thought hey I'll do that when I make the baked Alaska with y'all but um lots of y'all just send me sweet kind comments and that's all I need right there I, that's seriously that's all I need um 
because they're so encouraging to me. They really are. Y'all see how red this is getting? I'm going to turn it on up. On medium low like that. I'm going to let it go two minutes and I'll come back. Okay, guys. Two minutes it mixed. And it looks so pretty and Valentine red, doesn't it? I've got a 9 by 13 because like I say, we're going to cut out some of these into circular shapes. And make a bake Alaska so that's what I'm doing with it and I need it in this pan I'm trying to clean off my stuff this beater works so fabulous I never had to stop and wipe any of that down thank you so much Renita <laughs> like I say she and I message back and forth just like we're girlfriends now and not just Renita and I many of y'all do that with me and it is it's fantastic y'all show me things y'all found in town and just it's like girlfriends talking and I love it I love it I love it let me put this down here on my island get out of our way I try to bring this thick cutting board up here so maybe we could I'll see stuff together I need me sort of a counter right here raise it up so we can all have everything together and y'all can see good i've got my 9 by 13 glass pan so i heated my oven to 350 degrees fahrenheit and i am using this baking mix it has flour in the spray and this is by pam but you can do it i think there's one called baker's joy i think so because i use it too and you spray it on here and it's it's a one-stop shop and i love it not to mention, it's, it smells like a cake itself, like a vanilla cake. It's fabulous smelling, just fabulous. All right, guys, we'll pour this in here. I wonder if y'all can see, can y'all see behind me where John, John came in and surprised me this morning with um, roses. <laughs> And uh, he doesn't always do that. So I, he made me cry. He made me cry. Normally it's just like, baby, what you want? What you want for Valentine's? You know, and I'm like, well, you know. So this time he he surprised me with that. And um, I did. I started crying on him. He probably thought, really? <laughs> that was sweet of him. He's a sweetie. He really is. But he's always so busy. He just doesn't think about it stuff like that and I said well I didn't get you anything we said not to get anything because normally I get him something he said well Valentine's all about the girl it's all about girls baby so I said okay but I'm cooking that's what I told him I said I'm gonna make you something special he said that's all I need right there <laughs> okay y'all into the oven 350 degrees and this, our box said um, about 25 to 30 minutes on 350 so I'm gonna keep on checking it and when the toothpick goes in there and comes out clean then I'll know it's done. I'm just gonna show y'all what John got me he came in today with this <laughs> isn't it pretty can y'all see all of them so pretty mmm they smell so good and oh i was going to tell y'all where they came from they came from um, a sweet friend of ours uh dean of flowers and um my sweet friend alan he's friends with all of us in the town he's truly a sweetheart and a joy to be around always always so he's one of the good ones um, it's his shop and john went in there and had all the sweet people in there working they were all helping he's got a lot of family helping him during valentine's it gets crazy around there so anyway um they all were talking with john and talking about this cooking show and gave gave us this that's what john got for me so anyway i want to give dina flowers in farmerville a shout out because um they're not just a flower shop they're like your friend and if you call them because you've had a loved one to die well they it's that little extra special, like a friend. And um, so anyway, I just want to give him a shout out and give John a shout out because he got me these. <laughs> I'm gonna leave them back here for us to look at and enjoy. We'll all enjoy those while we're making this baked Alaska. I'll be back in about 25 minutes. You guys, I got to thinking about saying, 
It's like a bunch of girlfriends talking and messaging with me. It's not just girlfriends. I got guy friends on here too. Um, Randy, I think of you in, uh, in particular, but it's others as well. And y'all message with me back and forth too, just as much as the gals do. So um, I, I got off here and I was like, well, why did you, why'd you say that? Why'd you say that? Why didn't you mention them too? So I enjoy that too. Yes, I do. Okay, guys, let's get that cake. Okay, y'all, um, our cake came out of the oven. You see it? It is hot, hot, hot. But um, you see now it's nice and wide, so we can do a lot of little cutouts of it um, for our baked Alaska. This is what I'm using. You're going to have to look around your kitchen. I got these little bowls at the dollar store some time back and for a dollar, so they're fantastic for this, and I use them for all kinds of stuff, meal prep mostly. But um, I've taken one of them. I'm going to do two, but I'm showing you all what I'm doing, and I got some plastic wrap, and I just placed it down in here like that all down in there real good just with some saran plastic wrap that way when we get ready to take our um alaska out of here our layers of ice cream and cake yum right um we'll be able to pull it out easily and won't have any trouble and keep it together so we can um, put the meringue on there and make our baked alaska and so then something else i'm going to do while my cake is cooling is i need to find some cookie cutters whatever size cake you want to make you need something but now if you're gonna you can do this in something like you can make a, a loaf like that or a big loaf and then you can just slice it if you want to do that so I'm just showing you there's many many different shapes you can do I'm gonna do these round ones and so I want to find I'm gonna put some cake on the bottom then I'm gonna put ice cream then I'm gonna do cake on the top and then when I flip it out, the top will be the bottom, the bottom will be the top. But I want one, and I'm going to put him to the side so I can show y'all. I need a cutter that's going to just cover cake on the bottom of this bowl. See how it gradually gets wider. So this one will work for me. I've got this set that I had ordered from Amazon a while back. B-Y-K-O-O-C is what it says on there. But anyway, just some cookie cutters or biscuit cutters whatever you want to call them you see how it comes in all kinds of sizes so I think I'm going the middle size one looks like it'll fit in the bottom of my bowl so that's going to be my bottom layer of cake and then the bowl gets way too wide I would love to have a little bit smaller bowl than this but that's okay John and I can eat on it for a couple of days I bet I'd twist his arm and mine to eat some ice cream and cake layers but um I have this cutter this big um it's kind of like a fried pie cutter. And I got this years ago from the Pampered Chef and it actually cuts and seals, but I don't need to do all that. But I think I'm gonna be able to make that work. I actually need one a little larger than that. But I think I'm gonna make that work and maybe not bring it all the way up because this, this thing is huge. I don't know if y'all can tell. <laughs> we don't need one quite that big. So I think I'm gonna put my ice cream a little lower and I think he's gonna work. So just letting you know what I'm planning on doing. I'm going to get plastic in this other bowl. I'm going to let this cake get totally cooled for us because we're going to put ice cream with it. So it needs to be totally cooled. And I brought, took my ice cream out because it needs to warm up. <laughs> so we got to cool the cake and warm the ice cream. I'm going to scoot it y'all forward so we can all see what we're doing here. I have been cutting on pieces of cake after it cooled. I just turned the whole thing out on a cookie sheet. Y'all see we've got some big discs for down in here and then some small ones for right in the bottom here, which I love. Yes, I know these are awfully thick. You probably could have put this whole uh, like a, on a big cookie sheet and maybe gotten them thinner or if you want them to be thinner and they're thick like mine, I'm just going to slice mine in half just like that. And that's going to work just fine and I'm going to put him down in the bottom. He would probably work good all together because that ice cream is squishing down, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to do like that. Okay, can y'all see what I got here? And make sure you have lots and lots of plastic out to the side so we can fold it over to cover this up to put it in the freezer. I meant to tell y'all that earlier when we were putting that together. And now I'm going to put some ice cream on here. 
It's still not quite that soft, but I'm rushing it. We gotta get on. We gotta move along, don't we? That looks good. Put another scoop. And there we are. Oh, Jax, he's always getting excited about our treats we're cooking up in. And now, guys, I've got this bigger one that I cut out with this bigger cutter. And I'm going to put it here on top, just like that. So we've got cake and then ice cream and then cake. Yum! We'll see if that's a thick enough row of ice cream for us, I'll tell you. I think I'm gonna put another scoop. Hang on, guys. Y'all see, you just have to get in here and kind of figure it out as you go, like that, what you wanna do, but I believe I'm gonna put some more ice cream. More ice cream, just like that. Have us a thicker layer, yeah. So it'll just be prettier when we turn it out and cover it with our meringue. Our Alaskan snow meringue, I guess. There we go. All right. Now, now let me put him back on here. Here we go. Kind of press him down a bit. And then take your plastic. And we're going to... Push it on there really nice like this and really nice like that and this side like we're wrapping up a little package here and now he's going to go into the refrigerator well the freezer I'm sorry guys he's going to get real pretty for us um, <clears throat> I might find something to place on top of him Probably just another plate or something like that to keep him kind of pressed down. And you see how he's going to be layers of cake and ice cream there? He's going to look real pretty um, when we cut into him. But this is what I'm going to do. I'm about to do this second one and put them into the freezer. And they need to stay in there um, at least about three or four hours, if not overnight. And no, I don't have overnight. So yeah, we're going to do it. We're just going to go on and do it, guys. We need to make our meringue to go with our... Um, baked Alaskas. I see that my head's chopped off here. <laughs> I know. I know that bothers y'all. It bothers me too. Let me come back. There we are. I was trying to get us to see everything. I am separating eggs. I need eight egg whites, okay? Just scoot everything around. So, um, I think y'all can see me still. I've got me seven egg whites right here and I use a separate bowl. These are some of my fresh eggs for my girls, my chicken girls. So I use a separate bowl just in case one breaks. I don't want it falling off into my uh, my whites, just like he just did. That's exactly why I did that. Hey, would you bring me one more egg, pretty please? I will, baby. Let me wash that out. That's what I mean. Sometimes that happens. I knew if I got on here with y'all to do one, it would do it. <laughs> That's just some kind of weird law, isn't it? I know. All right, guys. This one's going to be good. I just separated right here in my clean hands. I just washed. That gives us our egg yolks, but we need eight egg whites. So here we are. Into the bowl it goes. Let me wash my hands and get rid of all my eggshells. I'm going to save them over here for my girls tomorrow. I know y'all going to say that. And so, yes, they will eat their shells if I give them back. So, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, next thing I'm going to put in here is two cups of white granulated sugar into my eight egg whites. There we go. And then a pinch of cream of tartar. Cream of tartar, okay? Just about a little pinch. Nothing major. 
I think that's like an eighth of a teaspoon or a quarter. That's an eighth. I'm going to put my egg yolks over here. Here, baby. John said he'll put these in the morning for his breakfast. <clears throat> yes. There I'll you are, darling. The fridge, see? There's a lid on them. Yeah. And you can cook them up. Okay, guys. Now I've got a whisk, and I'm just going to stir these egg whites and the sugar and cream of tartar around. Stir it around. And I have a pan of water right here simmering. Simmering on medium low, kind of, sort of. And I am going to put this over here because this meringue has got these egg whites in here, so we need to get it heated up. I'm going to continue to stir over this simmering water for a few minutes. What I'm looking for is the sugar to dissolve all the way. I know you're going to come stir for me, aren't you, baby? Oh, John yeah. loves to stir. I love to stir. Just keep stirring around. The sugar needs to melt all the way. And it actually needs to reach like 110 degrees Fahrenheit. But if you don't want to um, check its temp all the time, I won't either. I just know that you can put your finger in it. Just touch your finger. If it's really warm to the touch, then that's going to be good. And all your sugars dissolve. And then we're going to get out, I'm going to get out my electric stand mixer again. And we're going to whip it up and make us a pretty meringue. Make us some Alaska. What I wanted to tell y'all is that um, you don't want your water to touch the bowl that you're going to stir. And it does need to be heat proof, okay, that you're going to stir over your simmering water. So don't let your bowl actually go down into the water. Just needs to be a small amount of water in the bottom. And, um... I'm using my mixing bowl because we're going to mix, the, we're going to whisk these with our stand mixer. And um, the reason why I do this is I've seen Martha Stewart do it, and if she does it, then we know it's okay. <laughs> 110 is what it reached to, and it is very warm to the touch when you get down in there. Let me show you what they look like. Can y'all see? Can you see? All the sugar's dissolved. It's kind of frothy. Put them in here now. Let me scoot that carefully out of our way because it is mighty warm. Okay, y'all. I've got the whisk attachment on here. And we're going to turn it on. It's going to go 10 minutes. And these are going to get fluffy and get stiff peaks on. And I'll come back and show you. Hey, y'all. I have un molded one of our little Alaskas before we put the meringue on there and I'm going to show y'all what I did. Um, when I went to put these bowls in there I wanted something to keep it squished down so I put a saucer and then a bowl on top of it and they've been in the um, freezer four or five hours. You can do it overnight. It doesn't matter. You can do it however long you want to do it and then when you get ready pull them out. This is why I put it in the plastic wrap because you've got to coax it out of here. Of course, the first one I did off camera, I got it out real easy. But you know how that goes. Okay, guys. Open it up. And there's the second one. I'm going to get y'all down here and John and I are going to make ours together. Yes, we are. I'm going to scoot it here. Which one you want, baby? It don't matter to me, bro. Okay. It doesn't matter to you. Doesn't matter to me. All right, baby. Let me get that down here like that. Maybe everybody can see us good there. Can everybody be able to see our little baked Alaskas. All right. Y'all see this meringue? Look what it looked like afterwards. Look at that. I want to talk to y'all about that a little bit, and I forgot. I forgot. This is it. This is what it looked like when it got through. And I just wanted to show y'all how pretty it is. And silky smooth. Y'all see that? Isn't that gorgeous? And it is shiny. Yeah. Do you see how shiny it is, baby? Mm -hmm. It's very shiny. It's beautiful, beautiful meringue. Just gorgeous. You want to lick it, baby? Oh, I do. <laughs> I do. We're just going to be real here, guys. Yeah. That's what we do is, is lick that beater. It's too good. And now, try to put that out of the way so y'all can see our baked Alaskas. 
or our Alaskas right now. They're not even baked yet. All right, darling. Just start getting you some of this meringue, however you need to do it. Okay. Let me um, tell you what. First, I'll put us some big dollop on there. How about that? That'd be great. Then we can start with that. And then you can use it. And you want to do them all the way down. Okay. And you can get you more on here if you want to now. You get as much of this meringue as you want to, okay? And make it as pretty as you want. Josh's probably gonna make one prettier than me, y'all. No, I doubt it. I doubt don't know. It. He's kind of artistic. Yeah. He's kind of artistic. Yeah. And you work fast, guys, because you know that's that ice cream we did. And John's gonna use his torch and cook these and toast these for us. If you don't have a torch, just stick them in your oven on 500 and watch them. You sit right there with it. I need some more. You need some more, baby? I think I'm pretty good. Oh, you got him looking good. Let's see, I'm going all the way down to the bottom. Oh, well, I didn't go all the way to the bottom. Maybe I need a little more. <laughs> Let me get a little more here. That's up to you, baby. My ice cream's already starting to want to come through. We got to get rolling. I got to get a little more here. <laughs> yeah. And then do you some, yeah, I love all your little points, baby. Yeah. You did good because those will get toasty with your torch. Yeah. Yes, they will. You're doing so good, darling. John isn't normally in the kitchen with us like this, is he? I know it. It's kind of nice. A nice little treat. Valentine treat. All right, baby. Torch him up right now. Remember, we got ice cream going. Come torch it. Get over here and I'll twist it and you torch. All right. And you'll see how close you need it to be. Oh, look how perfect. Yeah, and get them down. Look at you. I like what you were doing. Just go up and down like that, baby. Looking good. <laughs> John uses that torch to, um, you see how someone's trying to pitch on fire, baby? Just back it off just a little bit. He uses that torch to uh, just a little bit. Back it back, son. <laughs> <laughs> that was an extra baked Alaska, wasn't yeah. it? That's all right. It's just us. Come on down and get around there. There you go. Baby, that looks awesome. Awesome. There you go. Okay, guys, I want to show y'all. What an awesome job he did on this one while he's working on that other one. Y'all see it? Isn't that beautiful? I mean beautiful. And the ice cream, and I know y'all want me to cut into this. We're not quite ready yet. <laughs> We're not ready for dessert yet, but I do want to tell y'all about a baked Alaska. Because I know, isn't that a name? That's quite a name. Um, I know y'all probably want to see what John's doing over here. So I'm going to read to y'all the same time, okay guys? It says the name Baked Alaska was uh, coined by Antoine's mm -hmm. restaurant, Antoine, down in New Orleans. That's a famous restaurant down in there, been around forever. Um, in 1867, in honor of the acquisition by the United States of Alaska from the Russian Empire on March 10th of 1867. So that's how that came into play was when we got Alaska in the United States, um, Antoine made that up. Okay, here's John's second one. Let me show y'all. Let me show y'all both of these because they're both so pretty. This is the one John decorated. I love all his little swirls on there, baby. That one's beautiful. <laughs> that looks just like, Thanks. I don't know if this is supposed to be snow in Alaska or icebergs. I just don't know. But I'll tell you what they are going to be. Delicious and good. That's what they're going to be, guys. All right, y'all. See y'all later. Guys, I could not leave y'all. I just could not leave y'all. <laughs> so I came back, and we're going to cut into this Alaska. This baked Alaska. Didn't John do such a good job torching our little Alaskas? Yes, he did. Okay, guys. I hope y'all can see this real good. We're going to cut into this and see what it looks like in the middle. Oh! Oh, my.
goodness. I'm going to show y'all. Do y'all see that? Do you like it, baby? That looks awesome. Does it look awesome? Oh. Thank you. <laughs> there y'all have it, guys. Baked Alaska with red velvet cake for Valentine's. <laughs>